Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Touch Treasures. Hello. Um, I'm just going to start getting this pile um, <laughs> from off my desk into a bit of better organisation. Um, I'm going to take this string off now because I find it a bit of a bind um, when I actually want it. I'm going to be sewing um, the pages in with this thicker um, stuff um, <clears throat> and this is hemp cord because um, I'm going to do a different, uh, not a different sewing but a different closure uh, with it. So today we're going to do uh, a couple of paper bag journals. Uh, one is a little bit smaller uh, than the other. Obviously you can do these with any size uh, bags. I've got some really tiny ones. Um, I might do uh, a couple of those another time but um, yeah for now I'm going to use this size and this size so I've got two of. Um, I've sorted another few of the uh, die cut pockets which I'm um, trying to get used up so I've got one slotted one, um, one corner one and two uh, normal uh, ones so that's the pockets I've sorted out some um, little tags and stuff for the pockets they're all gonna want a, a quick I was gonna say a quick eye and um, <laughs> quick ink and um, Mandy Chilvers sent me um, these little dies I now have this uh, die myself so I'm gonna use uh, the ones up that, that she sent before I uh, cut myself some so we've got those um, I've cut the papers uh, one of these was left over from uh, one of the projects that we've done another day and then I just cut another um, set down again I'm using things up and I'm wanting to use um, the faux tea stain paper from Amazon um, I only used it really I think last winter when I'd not stocked up on uh, tea stained paper so why I'm now stocking up on tea stained paper um, I'm going to get get this used and hopefully use um, you know my real stuff over winter so they're the pages um, I've chosen these for uh, the fronts so these are cards from the stamp area uh, pad so they're the fronts and um, this is some lovely uh, material that D sent uh, from Crafty D and um, I've tea stained it and look at this at the edges I love it um, I wish it had all gone like like that um, and I'm going to back these um, onto them I've got uh, this and I think this was from um, it was either Tapology or uh, Abunjo and again their links are in my uh, description under my links and there is some coupon codes they are affiliate links and uh, if you check out with my link I do make a small commission and thank you to those of you who have used my link so and I've got the string so I need um, I'm gonna need my all and um, a bit of a wide, a wide-eyed, um, but I want a sharpish. That's the only thing when once you get to the kind of big eyes, they're not sharp, are they? That's got. What was that one? No. Yeah, none of these are sharp. So I'll go for the thinner one because some of them are really quite, quite thick. See if I can get through um, this. Oh, did you hear my belly? I'm not hungry. Um, I've not long had some um, strawberry jam on toast. Yeah, that should fit through. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll use that. I think that's that's all I need. Um, so I'm going to start off by uh, covering the paper bags 
um i know i've done these before in another uh woodland series i have put um because i think i've three or four woodland series and i have put all the links in the description below if you want to check out any of those and i think when i've made them before i've not covered um them because i'm a big lover of uh craft color um i think it's a great great color so i'm not sure if to or not if to or not to <laughs> that is the question um so i don't know if just to cover um this bit what do you think <laughs> um well i can't wait for you to answer me <laughs> so i'm gonna have to have to make a decision um because i think you know once they've got this some of this on um the card on one of my hairs um the material on you know the front's gonna be um covered so shall i do some stenciling on them and just cover this bit like give them a good ink in all the way around stencil them and then we'll just cover um this bit with with paper the front yeah let's do that then we'll do that okay so i'm going to get the gathered twigs out and i'll start by inking um all around i've not made uh paper bag journals for, for ages um i know one year like i've done the edith holden notebooks this year i think i made about 20 uh paper bag um journals and, and put them in the shop i like to put lots of uh little notebooks and journals um in the shop because um you know some people um want to buy things off certain people but um you know the bigger journals are expensive and then you've got more postage and you know all that kind of thing and um yeah i think they they're nice for you know you you're gonna need more notebooks than the actual journals um and they've they're handy aren't they for gifts and having them on at the side of your bed to write those um all important things that you think of in the middle of the night or you might um, be one who um likes to write your dreams down i know i used to do do that um yeah quite a lot of years ago now but um yeah i used to um write down my dreams um and yeah they're good to to put in your handbag um ladies i don't know if it's just ladies in america that call them purses uh, we call purses purses which is um you know just where we keep as money and um as, as cash cards uh, that's our purse and our purse then goes into our handbag so i don't know i'm not going to bother inking uh down there because obviously the pages will be there so you won't see them just trying to do it uh, pretty quick this is just going to be you know a one video one video wonder <laughs> um so as time goes on i might have to pause it as i'm doing repetitive um things because i do want to get it into into one video i feel like now it's that time of racing to um you know like wanting to start fall and things like that i didn't quite feel ready so i thought if i do um you know forest it's kind of it gets me gets me in the in the mood you'll have to excuse colin um he's obviously heard somebody come past with a dog or without a dog or a dog without an owner but yeah he's definitely not impressed I'm not very good at loading the ink with one hand and holding um, the stencil. So 
so I'm just trying to go around the edges because obviously the middle will be filled filled in I don't know oh yeah that's done it better than better than I thought it's funny when you're doing it um you can't you can't often tell so I think this is a craft treat uh, stencil it's one that I got from uh, Amazon I have put it on my um, storefront on Amazon again that is an affiliate link um, and I do make a small uh, commission so let's put that on there but yeah I bought a couple of um, theirs and um, I like the I like the size of these I mean obviously I love the Tim Holtz ones, but um, yeah, I I feel like I'm having to move them around a lot, a lot more. So I think these are probably like I don't know five by five, six by probably more six by six. So I'll just do. I'm just being what? Well, I can't even say lazy, but um, I'm not wanting to take it off the ring and what have you. Doesn't doesn't seem worth it for. For just a bit so oh let's do the middle because i do want the middle of this doing and i want the back doing oh, honestly you know because i said the middle i didn't want doing on the front that's it then i've got that thought in my uh, head and um yeah no middles <laughs> um wanted doing on any of them then but they do because it's only the front where it's going to be covered covered up it's really awkward putting it on a small <laughs> small book and um, that wasn't the, the brightest of, of ideas for my arms aching now right this whole one Let's do it. So I have printed out a couple of more sheets uh, from the Victoria Designs uh, kit, which I'm uh, using. It was a kit that I bought last year. Um, never got around to to using. I have got a couple of kits. Um, you know what I bought last year, what I've not used. So I'm trying to get those used by the year end. <laughs> Same with the forest paper. This will be like the second uh, fall that that I've bought it. So, so it, it's time to use it. Right, this bit. I think I'm going to need a lay down after this. I'm going to say my arms and shoulders are absolutely aching. Right, that will that will do. Oof. Okay. I feel like I used to always um, stencil. And yeah, I then like stopped and then totally forgot about it kind of um, thing. So let's pick some papers. Um, I want this bit at the back um, and this bit is going to be open as a nice uh, pocket. So that's clearly not big enough and neither is that. So we've got this one. Now, I am having um, the pockets on here so I'm going to go for the for the plain one because you're not going to see um, a lot of that so just tear down these edges just to give me a, a ripped edge Right, let's um, measure it against here. So I'm just going to mark it with my pencil. So we'll say that. And about 
of that. So it's not the smaller one, does it fit on the big one? It just wants to be just a touch wider and a touch longer. So let's do that. Oh, lovely. That was a, not normally very good at eyeballing things and, um, you know, being right. Yeah, spoke too soon. <laughs> just, a, just a touch. Okay, I'm going to pop those in my uh, scraps. We'll have to do some um, collage boards at some point because um, my scrap tub is getting full. And I've only got, it's you know, a certain size. And um, yeah, I refuse to, to go any more than that. So, you know, when you get to that, it's um, at least get some... Um, you know collage sheets <coughs> done and um, if you've seen me collage before um, I leave them you know as the as the sheet and um, I just put a clip on them and hang hang them up and um, yeah near my desk so so I do remember about them so it's a little bit large but that's fine Okay, so before I um, stick that on, I'm going to just glue um, down that side and that side because that can be uh, a little, a little tuck. I'm going to glue this down just so it's not uh, sticking, sticking up. Okay, and then. I'll glue this piece down. Still not filled. Filled this up. I've got plenty in it, but it's getting to that. You know, you can tell, can't you? Okay. And then this pocket I was going to have uh, like that way so we can go like that uh, so I might as well stick stick that down while I'm here yep and I'm gonna do it Try and get it middle and as you know farish that way. Yep, that's okay. So that can go there. Obviously, it wants a little bit of a um, something on it, and I was going to put that one on there. So I might as well do that now as well. Um, I did ask Violet about um, this die because um, it is one that I would have liked to have um, bought and um, she gave me, um, you know, the title of it and um, yeah, I searched it and it was um, discontinued. So, and I, I looked on AliExpress to see if I could see something similar and I couldn't find anything, which is a shame because I really do do you like that uh, pocket so that's uh, that obviously I can I can make one myself but you know sometimes it's nice to have um, some things isn't it already you know easy nice and simple and really it, it's you know when you've got biggish scraps because uh, you know I've only just got a die cut machine I was very lucky and um, a lovely viewer um sent me sent me one um and yeah i'm gonna say it's gonna be so good for those square bits of um leftover card um that you get because you know that that's not a lot of scrap is it um and 
you know, I managed to use all my like paper scraps up in collage and stuff, but I find the bits of card a little bit harder um, to use because I don't want to collage uh, with them because they're too, too thick, but they're not really big enough uh, to make anything with. So I'm gonna get um, another tub and just keep that for, for card. Um, and then, you know, when I'm die cutting things and that, I can have a look what's in my card thing and, and get, them, get them used up. Okay, so that's that one. And then we're going to have the slot pocket um, on this side. So we'll stick that down. I'm going to keep the top open. Normally I do stick this down, but this is on really nice um, card what Violet's used and it's got a little bit of uh, weight to it but sometimes you know if they're not very weighty I think it's best to to stick them stick them down fully at the top so I just think it could rip I probably need that to come down a little bit actually okay I don't know if that's quite straight or or what but it's not bad it's not bad okay so that's um that gosh that's terrible <laughs> on about it's not bad that is that was awful i think i've managed to move it a little bit um so we're going to sew the papers in i think i did them the same size that one's a little bit smaller so we'll put the little bit bigger one in a little bit bigger um, thingy so I've just got 10 uh, sheets here it feels more than 10 no it's 10 okay so I've got 10 uh, sheets of paper and I'm just gonna push it into there now if if you wasn't watching um, I wouldn't clip it up um, I would just hold it but I'll just put a clip on there and if you wanted you could put a clip on on there too which I will do because like I say you're my guest um, so we'll pop that in there so that bits in the seam and um, do it on top of a book um, I'm going to do it through my fingers. So middle-ish, top-ish, these kind of things. You can just put two holes in, you know, one at the top and one at the bottom and just um, tie it round. But I still tend to do um, three. So normally we would go that way. So I'm going to go in this way. Okay, and I'm gonna go out through the top or the bottom. It doesn't it doesn't matter which. And then you go down to the opposite of the top and bottom, whichever one you've done. So if you've gone out the top, go in through the bottom. So that's that. It is a bit tougher because obviously the needles. Um, bigger. I should have thought about that when I, I should have, you know, really, um, yeah, done that. Okay, so we're at the outside instead of it in the inside. So normally we'd have that bit in the middle and we would tie it off. So pull it slightly I don't want to um let's take these off I don't want to pull it with it being um thick but yeah I think that's that's fine let's pull that one down okay that just tightened it just slightly more so I'm going to tie it off oh I've still got my needle in Okay, and I'm going to do two knots, like so, and then we can wrap 
this around like so and this one we can bring up here and then we can tie it off so you do use a lot more um, string and it's hard to know kind of how much um, you want so you do end up wasting uh, quite a bit but I just keep it in my tub on my um, scissors come and see them ah oh, they're there um, I just keep them in a little dish and you know when I'm doing tags and that they're, they'll be perfect uh, for you for using with the tags so we've sewed it and we've got our closure so that's that um, I'll do the other one off screen um, because you've seen that once. I don't think you need to see that again, do you? Nah. So let's um, undo this. Okay. And I'm just going to go around these, just give them a little bit of an inky. Inky, inky, inky. So this is out of the Victoria Designs um, digital kit, the same as the, the papers that I'm using. I mean, it's got mine and Lillian's kit on the back. <laughs> okay, so that can go in there. And we've got these. These are from uh, the Stamperia pad, uh, the cutouts. Okay, and I thought they would fit in very nice. Yep. So that's that. Let's do the other one. like so um so i've got these for the slotted one i'm sure i've got another one for i think i've dropped some somewhere maybe somewhere won't they they'll be behind some tub and i'll find them in about five years time when i move something right so that can go in there like so and I'm thinking I might be able to put another one of those in um in that one I'm just trying to find hmm where did I put those I'm going to pause Okay, I couldn't find them, but I've got these uh, cards and these was from uh, a Your Creative Studio and I think they go um, quite nice. Oh, I don't know if they fit in actually. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. So that can go in there. Lovely uh, card. And um, the, these are part of uh, the subscription, the bit that they um, actually design um because they they're designing a good half of the box um now which is lovely and um then all the pieces coordinate with each other so yeah they're really nice boxes so i don't know if i want a few more little ones in this um slot pocket I'll put one there because I'm going to have one every other. Yeah, I won't need any more. I could perhaps do with one going down, down the back. I'm sure I can find one for that. These are our, uh, the Victoria Designs kit as well. there um looking for a tag 
aren't I? So this is all leftover um, digitals. Could perhaps put that art in his tag in. No, it's just not too much. So I want something smaller. Hmm. Don't know if I'll have anything smaller. Oh, that might be <coughs> pushing it with players. Mm. <coughs> Something just ah, uh, this is from um, an anemone cat. Oh. Okay, so if I take some off, gosh, that cutting's terrible. Um, let's just go. I'm going to pause. We'll save some. Time. I'm just going to cut it. In fact, I'm going to cut that top off because if I cut the bottom, I'm going to cut some of the flowers off, aren't I? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I should be able to ink over. That's it. Can't see me bad, bad cutting there. Yes, I'm determined to uh, get that. A box of um, you know random leftover kit things um, used up so that can go in there so that's his tags in I'm gonna pause now and um, get this sewn in so we don't go any further I'm gonna take that out while I sew it in and I'm going to cut um, two pieces of card which are going to fit in here so because we could have two in there um, and I'm going to back them and in plain you know tea stain paper so then we can uh, collage those and in fact I've got some I've got some collage board we'll cut that up uh, and that can be the background and then I can find a bird or a botanical and um pop pop that on so i'll do that that's a bit too far down um and then all we'll have to do is is the fronts so yeah probably it will be a long video but it it will be just one one video um and then if you want you know it's only one video to save then or if you just want to get on and, and make one it's um you know not waiting for next parts to come out and things um like that so i will pause and um i will be back i need to get some more of this thread off um oh i do this you know if i can't find the end i cut into it <laughs> then when you're unraveling it, it suddenly just stops. You're like, ah. So I think the way that I would do it is, you know, you want to wrap it round about three times. So that would be that. And then, you know, we say three times the, the thingy. So if I did it two and a bit, that would be plenty. So hopefully that will save... Um, waste and um yes i will i will be back and um we'll get the tags done and the fronts done so see you in a tick okay i'm back let me just check if i'm filming yeah um i've sewn that other one in and i got my uh collage sheets cut them down and back them on uh these are like document uh folders so we've got two which are a little bit bigger for the bigger one and one for the um two for the smaller ones. So probably I think that's that way. Not that way. So I was gonna look through um my birds, that's lovely. Nice right just the right size too. Um yeah. I'm very lucky. Oh, I've got another one of those. I must have printed those out. Another time I'll put those in with the kit. That one. 
Um, I don't know if my fussy cut birds are in here. I know that one was, but um, yeah, I feel like I've put them somewhere else because um, they was bursting out of here. And um, yeah, I'm definitely right. I'm gonna take that ticket out and put the, that with my um, autumn things. Ooh, I've got a William Morris stamp there. Um, oh, what did I do with my birds? Oh, that's another one. There he is. Hmm. That's another autumn one. Same as that. Red didn't come on to um, <coughs> sort through <laughs> sort through this, but um, yeah, why I'm why I'm here? Because uh, I thought I'd sorted everything out like fall wise, but I'd obviously not not been in in here. So I mean, I could and mind you, the forest, aren't they? So I've got to uh, you know that's foresty, but I don't want to go bluebirds or. Or anything. Um, well, that could be forest. That's nice. Nice colours. Um, I'm saving those for for something what I didn't get round to doing uh, this year. That one's coming out. I've got a little tub with um, frames in. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh I think Lenny sent me those. Oh, well, lovely. That's beautiful. Hmm. Okay. Right. Oh, handsome more. Look at those. Oh, how nice. Yeah, I've saved those for special, special project. Right, where can my birds be? Um... I'm going to pause. Okay, I found my birds and Eleanor just came came back. Um, so I thought, well, why am I pausing to say hello? Um, I want to find my birds. They could definitely be woodlandy, foresty, couldn't they? I like that. That was from um, a paper pad. It's called... Um, that's bigger. These are the big ones, aren't they? I'm wondering about that and just cut some of the um, Nature's Gallery. Um, I think it was uh, a dove cut. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going to go for those. They're beautiful colours. These are out of a book. I'm not sure um, which book. I'm sorry. Um... <coughs> That's from the Undercliff, definitely, but I'm not sure about those two. Uh, the Undercliff is in my um, Sunday, Lazy Sunday um, playlist, and it's also on my um, Amazon um, storefront um, under Books I Use. So the majority of the books that I've ever bought um, I've put in there so you can always check out uh, books that I've, I've bought. Oh, that just fits on there. Okay. Which way is it supposed to go? I suppose birds can go anyway because it depends what it's, what it's doing, isn't it? It doesn't go that way. Yeah, I think that was... Yeah. Okay, so I was going to, because um, obviously these are collaged already, um, that was, sorry, that's, uh, that paper pad, uh, what I was saying, that that cut out came from, and this didn't come from, uh, <laughs> is a discontinued uh, pad. I managed to, to get my hands on one. I have seen them occasionally on um, eBay. Uh, and I do think it's a Dove Craft. So I want to uh, just pop um, a few tickets 
in the background just to add some some more uh, to the collage. I'm not thinking too much about it. Um, have I got any green ones? This is the question. They all, all seem to be brown, don't they? Too much red. Oh, these are. Let's um, put one of these on each one. So, these are obviously real real they're real okay so that's uh that we've got what we're using so let's ink da -da -da. um if i could add it this is where i would uh fast fast it up <laughs> fast it up so i've inked around uh the cards Kind of time are we on? I might pause again and um, just get them all in because I want to get these done and and the front done. And I would like to finish the video um, at you know just under an hour because it's a long time to sit sit and watch um, somebody, even though it's you know a full project from from start to finish. Um, it is a long time. Okay, so I've done uh, the inking, so we'll just do one at a time and see where I want to uh, put the tickets, well, a couple of tickets. So I think one would be nice down there. So these are some collage sheets that, that I've done before. Um, I, ha I did do them on video and um, I do have a playlist called, um, I think, collage sheets or something like that so I like to get some some made for um, you know times times like this when you just want a um, quick quick tag journal card yeah I like that there because I like the the numbers peeping over so really nice simple tags and obviously it took a lot less time because the collage was was already done. I've not done a lot of bird projects this year, which is surprising because I normally do a lot of uh, bird projects. But um, yeah, I just feel as if, um, I was going to say as if the earth's moved very fast. Well, yeah, that as well. But um, yeah, as if time's gone really uh, fast. But um, yeah, I suppose, you know, with um, not being particularly well, um this year with with grieving my mum um you know I, I think I've slept I did sleep a lot and and stuff so I don't suppose that's helped so that's one I could perhaps do with um something a little bit circular um we'll see so this is that one so yeah, I think that would be nice there I think this is a sticker um a lot of the tickets and uh, stuff uh, either from um, uh, um, oh gosh, your creative studio um, subscription or um, from one of the stationery companies that I've done unboxings for, and um, I do have their links in uh, my my description link and there is some coupon codes for you to to take advantage of and um yeah i do earn uh, a, a small commission and obviously it means that um you know they'll ask me to do unboxings for them again which is a great help because you know i, I go through a lot of uh, stuff it's not just the 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 money factor it's the time um, factor of you know finding um, new things to use um, so yeah it's nice because um, you know they're always refreshing the stock and, and stuff so yeah it's nice I've got one on the way which is like a surprise 
uh, box so that'll be nice so that's the second one so are these the bigger ones or the smaller ones i think they're the they're the bigger uh, smaller ones sorry so we'll pop i think they go that way so that will go in that and that will go in that and there's no need to have um pulls on them because obviously you can open that up and pull them out and we don't want to put tabs on because um our closure is a, a wraparound one and um yeah that gives the cover a bit more stability uh, as well no, i think i liked it there So yeah, I'm really enjoying using stamps and uh, tickets um, in with my collage. I think it adds, adds a little bit, a bit more. Add some more layers to it. Yeah, I'm gonna have that there. Oh, such nice, easy journal cards. Everything's all cut out. Okay. Concentrating. <laughs> lovely them birds are so sweet okay so if that's going like so definitely want something down there so that can go there okay so put that about there getting very thursday Okay, that's going to go there, and I think I'm going to pop that there. So pretty similar placing um, on each of them. Obviously, apart from the square one, well, rectangle one that I did, you know, the rest are very similar uh, shapes. So I kind of stick with the same uh, placement I like doing multiple of things because um, you know you don't once you've thought about the placement and stuff you haven't really got to keep keep thinking and it, I think it's the, the placement that um, does take take the time um, up so that just needs a little trim trim round so we'll just cut those off like so and that can come on <laughs> go in there and that can go in there lovely so that's that done so we're now on the covers um, I'll just do one on film because I will do the other one uh, the same. I'm hoping to um, stick that down the front or I could stick it down here. I'm quite fancying it on this side. Um, and then maybe having that under it a little bit. So if it was if it was in the centre, it would be there. So I could do it out a little bit. So let's um, cut around this. Now this has been cut with um, the zigzag scissors, so pinking shears. So I am so rubbish at um, going straight. Oh gosh, 
I wasn't joking, was I? <laughs> you definitely wasn't joking there, Tanya. Come on. You've got this. I haven't I haven't got it at all. <laughs> Oh dear me. Okay, so let's um, cut this down. Oh. Okay, so that looks straight. So let's just get this side a little bit straighter. I don't want perfect at all, which is lucky. Oh, I think these might need sharpening. I don't know if you can sharpen them. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's a little bit off there. Yeah, I like it. So that can go on there. Um, let me cut the other one out while I'm uh, doing, doing it. Hmm. It's a little bit thin. Oh. Yeah, okay. So I can show that if I go a bit above then I can because that part's going to go into there I can perhaps do it over a little bit because you're not going to see that bit so that should work out uh, fine I'm just going to keep this on my table I have got um, a bit of this um, lace that I keep um, digging out because it's just you know a little piece now and um yeah i'm wanting to get it get it used right and i've got those um little strips from mandy so i did think that i was going to get my script um stamp and just script stamp script stamp <laughs> over um here Come on, let's have it a little bit darker. That's it. And then I will ink around this. I'll probably have to rip it down a little bit. So if that was, say, behind there, I'd have to rip it about there. Um, let's rip the other one. Did I whistle when I spoke then? I think I did. Anybody know? Yeah. I know it's there. That's what happens when you put some things away and other things not away. You're not sure then if you've left them out or if you've put them away. So I think you need to either leave everything out <laughs> and um, or put everything away, um, and then then you know. But um, yeah, it's it's um, it's very hard. <laughs> keep pointing everything away especially on video because then obviously all you see is my is my arm um all the time but you know if we don't keep as tables a little bit tidy uh, you can't see see what we're doing which isn't any good is it right pop those over there so let's um let's have a look so i think i want that um really uh, brown side on here so I'm going to oh hold on yeah oh yeah okay sorry I didn't know if I was going to put the paper underneath this or the lace underneath this or or not but I've decided I'll put those underneath the material so I'm gonna just offset it a little bit so we've got um, plenty around this side okay i might do that across uh oh that's nice yeah i might do that across the the top so let me just bring my dobber back in so that can go across the top so all i'm gonna do is do that and place that there Yeah, and then there's some bit thicker here. Let's um, let's just cut that, cut that down, and 
I like this. It's a really cheap um, lace. I got mine from eBay. I've had it in a few different colours. But it's nice because um, I think it comes in four um, and you can rip rip them down. So you can either use it as one, two, three or four. Um, so, yeah, it's nice for like edging pockets and stuff. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and I do like this uh, colour. It's a nice olive green. So I think that would be nice. Yeah, I'd like to say. So let's... Um, Let's put some glue down here and I want to place it so part of the first one is poking, poking out. So I want to move that down so that's lower than that comes down. That's it. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, nice. So that one's sticking on first, doesn't it? So let's again look at this um, wide wideness. I need to put those in my autumn things. So that there would be spot on. So if I put that line there, let me know. Let me know where we are. So I I don't know if it was last night you saw it or if it'll be tonight because I'm filming ahead. But um, I've said these um, forest things that I'm making, I'm just going to randomly, um, the small things, I'm going to pop them on Etsy. Uh, there won't be a um, flip through of them or anything because, you know, they're, they're too small to have a flip through. So... Um, yeah, I will just randomly put them on Etsy. So if you are interested, um, yeah, make sure you keep an eye on Etsy. Yeah, that's nice. I think I've gone over a little bit too much. I don't... Mm. Oh, come on. Hey. Yeah, I, I do want to move it over just a touch. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice making some things at, you know, different price um, points. And they're so nice to make, aren't they, little um, projects? Okay, so we've cut that down. Not there. Yeah, I like that. And then with that green um, around it. So if I go like this it'll probably take quite a while to to dry but i can just put it on the on the side and then if it's not totally stuck down i can just get in uh, with my little tip and um catch what's not been caught <laughs> I love it when I'm speaking in slow motion when I'm doing something. Oh, I really like that. So let's ink around here a little bit more. Yeah, they're really, you know, rustic looking, aren't they? Yeah, I like them. So that's the small piece. So that goes that side. I shouldn't really, I should leave it to dry, but so we'll wrap around like so. And then we'll just tie, tie a bow. So let's cut that down. Yeah. So that. Is, is that and the other one you know I'll, I'll do it the, the same it's just going to have a uh, different picture and I forget that where did I put them I 
I was going to put um, some of those little wooden uh, pieces on. What are we at? All oh, 59. I'm going. So I might put a little wooden piece on, um, but you'll see in the photo. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Um, we'll be starting a bigger project tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.